Hey air signs, happy September. I hope you guys had a really good August. Today we're gonna to go into your September 2018 forecast. So what I see with regards to how you and your business are gonna fare and how the market's gonna go for about for this month. I see that you aren't really focusing on what's going on in the market. You're not really focusing on the landscape. You're actually trying to avoid that as much as possible. And normally I would say that that's okay, especially at this time for the fire sign and earth signs. They are noticing what's going on and they really need to be focusing on their work and not what's on the landscape. So normally I would say like, great job guys. But I feel like you're doing that because you are not at peace. Like you don't want to know what's going to go on. And so they're, you're stressed about it. You're not looking at it, but you're stressed at it and you're internalizing that stress. The reason why you're not looking at it is because you already have so much on your plate. You already have enough stress to deal with and you don't even want to think about what's going on outside of there and then add even more stress to your plate. So I think that's the reasoning behind why you guys are avoiding this kind of information. And I think overall it's going to be fine. Like I, I think. You know, it's okay. Like, I don't think that the outside factors are actually really going to affect you and your business. But I think it is important to be aware, at least, on some level of what's going on. Because even though it may not directly impact you, it is good to know what's going on. So that if there is any, like, collateral damage, you know, like, things that can affect you in more subtle ways, you're prepared for it, you understand where it's coming from. And it just gives you a more holistic perspective of what's going on. In terms of what I get for your personal life for September of 2018 is I get that you guys are being a little bit reclusive. So it's kind of like the fire signs, except you're doing something very different. You're not going into your own shell and being by yourself and disengaging from the rest of the world. What you're doing is you are worrying about things and then you're clinging on to somebody, maybe a loved one, and just clinging on to them basically for dear life because you seem to be in a vulnerable place and I, don't, I, I think that's probably related to your work or your business and that is causing you to be in this emotionally vulnerable, vulnerable place and needing to really cling on to somebody and just hold on to them and just, I guess, have some form of stability. So what I get for you guys to do for September of 2018 to make it a better month is with regards to your business, I get that you really should be looking at what's going on around you. You, re you really do need to have that perspective and just just know what's going on around you. And yes, it is going to add to your stress. It will. But I don't think that the problem, like I don't think that the solution to your stress is avoiding what's going on so you don't add on more. I think the solution to your stress is that you need to step away from your business a little bit more. Your business, I think there's there isn't, you can't reduce your stress in your business. The way it is, is fine. There aren't changes that you need to make. You need to step away from your business, though. You need to allow yourself and your business some space to breathe. And, yeah, you need that space from it. And you need you need to, to go off and, like, spend some time away from it so you can start letting go of the stresses that can kind of come up whenever you're just always focused on the same thing and seeing the same thing and being around the same problems. Like, you need to step away from some of your problems. And this kind of ties into your personal life where you're clinging on to someone for dear life because you're in, an in, in like, a... Yeah, unstable place, you're not feeling good about things, and then you just really need to find some comfort in someone, and so you're clinging on to them. And the way that it ties together is that you need to step away from your business. And when you step away from your business, you need to go to your personal life. Your personal life involves that person that you're clinging to, or those people that you're clinging to. And the way that you need to approach them is instead of clinging on to them now, like it's fine, like this person loves you, they adore you, and they're happy to be there for you, so don't worry about that. Like, that is solid. That's all good. But what you can now do for them when you step away from your business is you go out and you treat them. You take them out to a nice restaurant. You plan the date. You, you know, you take them out and show them a good time so that you're giving back to them because right now I think you've just been really holding on to them. And like I said, it's fine. They love you. They adore you. There's no problems there. But it is really important to have a give and take just in general. And so this is your opportunity to give. So step away from your business. That'll help de-stress you. Spend time with this person that you adore, who adores you back. That will de-stress you. And use your mental energy to plan a date that will also de-stress you and get you focused off of your business. And it will also show them some love and appreciation and just really grow that bond and make them want to be there for you even more than they already want to. In terms of what else you should do, I get that for your business, again, step away, de-stress. I think you need to sit in front of the couch, 
sit in a very comfy couch, sit in front of the TV, actually, not, not sit in front of the couch, sit on the couch, comfy couch, in front of the TV and just watch a show that does not require you to think, just some show that is engaging but mindless, <laughs> allows you to be mindless, and that will really help distress you. Give yourself, like, make yourself a nice little drink, like a nice little cocktail, and then sit yourself there and enjoy that while you watch the show and just literally do nothing. Basically, do nothing. Do nothing. <laughs> That's what you guys should be doing. And to enhance it, like, make yourself a nice drink and make it, like, a fun do nothing. And then with regards to your personal life, the person that you're, that you're clinging to, sorry to use that term so much. It's just how it's being portrayed to me. Um, that person, you can invite them to join you. But if they don't want to, do not get offended by that. Let them go off and while you vegetate and do nothing, let them go off and do whatever they want to do and give them the space to be able to do that because, they, like I was saying, they really want to be there for you and they would happily sit there with you if you asked them to. But when you allow them to have their own space, then that like re-energizes them so then they have a lot more to give to you whenever you need it. So it's, it's the best of both worlds for both of you. If you guys do these action steps that I've suggested for you, I see that with regards to your business, you're going to feel so relaxed. And yes, I do see your business slowing a little bit throughout the month because you're going to be taking some time away from it. But I see you feeling so good at the end of the month. I see you feeling so much more relaxed. I see you coming with more ideas, more inspiration, and more energy than you would have had at that point. I think that if you kept going the way that you're going with all that stress, like, it would only get worse and you're going to get frazzled and then you would have like a breakdown. So this is you guys preventing a breakdown and then coming back to the table with fresh ideas, like a whole new, I don't know what the word is, like not inspiration, but like, like drive. You guys are just ready to go. And then in terms of your personal life, if you guys do these action steps, I feel like that person that is in your life that you're really holding on to, that's really important to you. I feel like they will come out at the end of the month being more proud of you than they have ever been before. And in terms of things that you need to know that you don't already know for your business, I'm just getting that if you do this, then there is like, you're just going to have an idea that is really going to be exciting for you. It's going to be a new direction for you, but it's going to be in line with what you're already doing. So don't, don't, don't worry. You're not going to go in some like brand new direction. It's going to be something that aligns with what you want to do, but it's going to be a whole new idea, just like a whole new take. And I feel like it can be an idea that will really, really get you really great results, like really just just rock at you and so that's why it's really important that you guys take this time to relax so that you can allow that idea to come to you because when you're stressed you're not going to be you're not in going to be in a receptive mode you won't be able to see it you won't be able to think of it it won't exist for you but when you relax you can shift your reality and it will be something that you can receive in terms of your personal life i feel like that person in your life they just like they like absolutely love and adore you and i think you already know that and they just like want to be there for you I think that in their mind, they also really want to surprise you with something. And I think that as your business starts to take off and as you start to relax, <clears throat> they're going to see an opening for when they can do that for you. Like maybe in, in a couple months, they'll want to plan some kind of weekend getaway with you, with you, like a, like a surprise or like, I don't know, go out into the woods and the cabins or, you know, go someplace nice and, and do something together in a way, like maybe at a time when it feels like, you can celebrate something that you've accomplished. So I think they want to surprise you with something. And as you guys are feeling better, they're going to they're gonna start noticing opportunities. And they're going to start planning for it. And <clears throat> I think they're going to start acting on that surprise that they want to give you. They, they may not know what that surprise is just yet, but they've been thinking, like, I want to do something nice for you. I want to do something nice for you. That's what's been in their head. So that's something that you guys don't know that you should know. So I decided to pull a Lenormand card for you from this deck that I recently got called the Gilded Reverie Lenormand. And the card that I got for you is card number 14. And basically what I'm getting that this wants to share with you is that it, it's really important for you to be happy, relax, and look forward because now is a time when you can let go of your past problems, your past struggles, your past stresses. So just look forward, be happy, relax, and let whatever was there before just go. And there is a whole new world out there in front of you that you maybe haven't been paying attention to because you've been stressed. And like we were talking about in the beginning, it's really important that you are up to date on what's going on in the market and that you don't hide from it or avoid it and that you have a holistic view. And I think this card is also speaking to that as well, saying that, hey, like there is a whole new world out there for you that you haven't been looking at. So leave your problems behind and go in that direction 
and be happy and relax. When you're happy and relaxed, you'll see that whole world in front of you. And I think how it ties into the market is that there's a lot of opportunity when there is turmoil. So when you look at the market, yeah, it can be stressful, but instead of looking at it as a stressful type of thing, like, oh, what's going to happen? How is this going to affect my, my business? You know, like, how is it going to affect my livelihood, my outcome? Look at it as what are the opportunities here? Because there's always an opportunity. And I think relaxing and then looking back out into the market is going to allow you to be able to see those opportunities and see what's ahead and let go of those problems that are from behind. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video.